We intend to begin on the 1st of February unrestricted submarine warfare. We shall endeavor in spite of this to keep the United States of America neutral. In the event of this not succeeding, we make Mexico a proposal of alliance on the following basis. Make war together. Make peace together. Generous financial support and an understanding on our part that Mexico is to reconquer the lost territory in Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona. The settlement in detail is left to you. You will inform the President of this most secretly as soon as the outbreak of war with the United States of America is certain and add the suggestion that he should, on his own initiative, invite Japan to immediate adherence and at the same time mediate between Japan and ourselves. Please call the President's attention to the fact that the ruthless employment of our submarines now offers the prospect of compelling England in a few months' time to make peace. That telegram was an encoded German transmission from the German State Secretary for Foreign Affairs, Arthur Zimmerman, for which the telegram is named, to the German Ambassador to Mexico, Henrik von Eckhart. This is what the telegram looked like, as received by Eckhart. The message was intercepted by British codebreakers who passed the message along to the Americans. Basically, Germany wanted to tell its U-boats to sink merchant ships on site, which would include American ships. They knew the U.S. would likely declare war then, so Germany was asking Mexico to invade the United States to keep them occupied if the outbreak of war was certain. Mexico would then reclaim the territory it lost in the Mexican-American War, such as Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. This telegram was one of the major justifications for America declaring war on the German Empire in April of 1917. When Mexico received the proposal, Mexican President Carranza had the government study the German's proposal, and, I mean, that makes sense, considering that to him the Americans had taken a third of his country in the Mexican-American War, so it makes sense that he would want to uh, reclaim some of that land. Anyway, after spending a good while contemplating the Germans' offer, Mexico came to the conclusion that the Germans would not be able to send them enough supplies and that they would rather have things as they were than cause an everlasting conflict between themselves and America. What if Mexico had said yes? Well, it would have kept troops at home to defend the country. And when Germany went big on offense in Europe, what was really keeping the Allies afloat was the fresh American troops coming in so the end of World War I would have really been dragged out, not to mention a second Mexican-American war. Anyway, on the 3rd of February, President Woodrow Wilson broke diplomatic relations with Germany. Although the Germans avoided attacking American ships throughout February, many American leaders wanted merchant ships to be armed for self-defense. When the telegram went public on March 1st, it caused the first outcry for war with Germany. On March 9th, Wilson armed the American merchant ships. And on the 18th of March, German subs sank three of the aforementioned merchant ships, resulting in many deaths, causing President Wilson to make the decision of war on the 20th. He called for a session of Congress on April 2nd, where he delivered a pro-war speech to Congress, saying, the present German submarine warfare against commerce is a warfare against mankind. The resolution for war was approved by the Senate on April 4th and by the House of Representatives on April 6th. And just like that, under three months after the te Zimmerman telegram was sent, the United States of America was at war with the German Empire. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.